Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS S16C Viper video, we're taking a look at time difference of arrival, or TDOA. And what this allows us to do is use up to eight team members over the data link that have harm targeting system, or HTS pods, to triangulate the location of a radar emitter like a SAM site. And this will allow us to uh, much more quickly and more precisely to locate SAM targets. Now, like we talked about in the uh, previous video on the data link, uh, we can set up our eight team members and also assign uh, which ones will contribute to the TDOA uh, network. So to do so, let's go to the ICP. We'll go to list, then we'll go to data link, enter, dauber write twice, and now we have our data link list, our TNDL, and we can see we have four members. Uh, again, we can have up to eight, but you want a minimum of three. Now you notice our STNs are 201 to 204, but you also see that we have a T to the left of them. Let's uh, dauber down to number two, highlight it, and the T indicates whether or not that T member is assigned to the TDO8 network. If we want to toggle it off or on, we simply press uh, keypad one through nine, off and back on. And again, you want to have a minimum of three. Okay, let's take a look at this in operation with an attack. Okay, so first things first, let's come down here to the HTS or the harm targeting system page. And we're going to make this our sensor of interest, our soy by going aft or down on the display management switch. On the left side, we have the ability to determine what information we want to have from our members uh, when we're doing TDOA designations. We could have uh, all team members, all contributors, or nobody. I'm gonna go ahead and have team members. That looks like we have an SA6 up ahead, a search radar and a clamshell, as well as a big, big bird out there. Let's go ahead and designate this SA6, just as we saw in previous videos. Place the cursor over the emitter, and we'll press forward on the target management switch or team switch. And designate it. Going to come to the left just a little bit. And the next step is I'm going to send this target now over the data link to my other TDOA members by pressing left long greater than one second on the target and management switch. So press release, we see TDOA up on the HUD. We see we have a precision quality of five, uh, no bueno. You can see them splitting apart. You see a second element coming out even a good triangulation. Now these white segmented lines indicate that all my team members are now contributing with their tar harm targeting system and are already down to a precision quality of one. If I wanted to undesignate, I could press team is aft. Uh, notice because I'm the master, I have TDM, TDOA master, and on their displays, they would have TDS for slave. Uh, unfortunate terminology, but is what it is. So at this point, I have a really good precision quality. If I want to, I could bring on my uh, targeting pod and be looking almost right at that target. So that's the nuts and bolts of how TDOA works. And I think it's gonna be a really great tool for you weasels out there. Now, before I wrap up this video, I just wanna to touch on a couple points about Datalink, particularly in regards to the previous video. Uh, the first is everything we talked about today and in the previous Datalink video was regarding the fighter channel. Uh, anything with a C2 controller like an AWACS is on the mission channel. So you'll never have to assign an AWACS to a team member or a donor. That's automatically taken care of for you right now. Uh, the second big question is, well, what's the big difference between a team member versus a donor. Well, a team member just provides you a lot more information. Uh, for instance, like the TDOA we saw today, you can't do that with a donor right now. Uh, other big ones are you can see specifically what aircraft your team members are targeting, uh, visible as that dashed blue uh, line. Uh, you can also see what ground target they're going for. Again, dashed blue line with the red target marker. And a bit later, we'll also have the ability to allow you to designate specific uh, air targets 
for your flight members one through four. So uh, team members just provide a lot more uh, capability than a donor would. Anyhow, folks, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Thanks.